Good afternoon. Our intention for this Mass is for the staff of St. Joseph's Home Health, requested by a parishioner, and also for Elia Brito, requested by George and Soila Arciaga. We begin under the power of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With your spirit. And as we come to celebrate these sacred mysteries, just pause for a moment to recognize that we are sinners and that we are in need of God's loving embrace of mercy. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Grant that through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The lyrics of our songs, 
and our despoilers are exempt, to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my son be silent as the church. How can we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silent if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palace if I remember you not. If I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy, let my tongue be silent if I ever Take a look at your hand. Some are young, some are smooth, some are strong. Hands once strong are aged by hard work, arthritis, life itself. We know the good our hands have done. Maybe an encouraging pat on the back for someone who is down. Or nursing a loved one who is sick. Or simply cuddling a baby. Building or repairing a structure, preparing a good meal. But we also admit that our hands may have done many wrong. Flinched a fist to strike out at another. Maybe taking something that did not belong to you. Or, in rejection, pulling back from someone we did not want to touch. Some of you already know this, but before I was ordained a priest, I went to Liberia, Africa to work in some missions as a seminarian. One of the villages we visited was a community of people who had leprosy, who were the outcasts of that country. Nobody wanted to be around them. They were completely rejected all together as a community. And I guess I was a bit naive about the disease because I didn't hold back to the people. I hugged, I high-fived, I walked with them. Now I remember in our last days that we were going to be there, I shared with that community that I wish I could take their sickness away. And one of them said, you don't realize that your time with us has done more than that. You treated us with respect and dignity. That is what a person needs the most. You brought healing to us in that way. I'm reminded of that, that time in my life because of the gospel today. Look at that gospel. And Jesus did not pull back from the person who had leprosy. 
Jesus allowed that person to approach him. We need to know during that time, these individuals were forced to declare themselves unclean because of their disease of leprosy. But they were also often personally unclean with the oozing sores, the decaying flesh, the lack of bathing and soiled clothing. But Jesus did not pull back. Jesus did not turn away. Rather, the gospel says that he stretched out his hand and he touched that man afflicted with a contagious disease. I always find that one detail so moving. Because Jesus didn't have to reach out his hand and touch that man. Jesus could have just spoken the word and said, be healed without really even involving his physical self. Jesus had the power of his spoken word. And yet the gospel says, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched this man. And that man was healed. Jesus went beyond what he really had to do. And friends, how much are you willing to go beyond? To risk and help another heal. And I'm not necessarily talking about those who have contracted leprosy. Because that disease is not a threat today because of modern medicine. And besides, in this country, we will probably never run into a person who has leprosy. But, who are the social outcasts within our society of today? whom we may be challenged to go beyond, to do the extra, to assist in some way. Or maybe the better approach is who are the outcasts in your personal life, in my personal life? Is it someone who has hurt us deeply in the past? either a family member or a friend, and we've simply just kind of casted them out in our lives? Or is it a person of a different race other than ours? Is it the person that lives on the street begging for a bit of assistance? It's probably safe to say that we all have an outcast within our personal lives. Are you willing to go beyond what is necessary? Are you willing to risk and help the outcast bringing healing to their hearts? My friends, our hands are powerful instruments that God can use to bring about healing. Today, simply ask yourself, who needs my outstretched hand to bring about healing, forgiveness, dignity, and our respect? Reach out and touch that person in a way that you can, because sometimes that's what a person most needs, just a touch, just a simple touch. Amen. I want you to stand now, coming before our God, we present our needs. Today as people, and as a church, and as a family of God, we thank God for His Holy Catholic Church. Because every time we come to Mass, every time we come to the Blessed Sacrament, and to the Sacrament, we come to be cleansed, like the leopard as Jesus. If you want to heal me. And Jesus responded, Yes, be made clean. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for God's holy priesthood that helps us to cleanse ourselves through confession, you know, and the Holy Eucharist. Because we need cleansing. 
because we are sinners. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And those, uh, as Christians today, you know, and say we love Jesus, uh, we follow Jesus. Sometimes I Father to say, and thank you, Father, for those beautiful words. We wouldn't approach, uh, or we wouldn't go into a room somebody that has corona or a leper or has a disease that you just have to get all covered up. Don't forget, brothers and sisters, maybe the worst lepers that live in Midland, Texas are us. And the spiritual, the spiritual leprosy, and the spiritual leprosy. We need to be cleansed of the guiltiness of our sins through confession. We need to be cleansed of shame. We need to be cleansed and not hide from God or other people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Like Father said in the sermon, touch. Right now we can touch, we can bump. Let's bump today, okay? And uh, but when you have the opportunity to touch, it's amazing what it does to the person that you touch. Sometimes they are brought to salvation, forgiveness of sins, back to the church with that touch of love that we extend to the most needed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Remember our brothers and sisters, our family members, our Lady Wonderful family members, the Holy Souls in Purgatory, the faithful departed, the people that have died from the coronavirus and all that are dying today of other diseases, other sicknesses. May all their souls rest in peace. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now you may voice your intention for the one in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now ask for the power for our our blessed mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, glory is to thee. Blessed art thou most holy, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. For the earth and work of human hands shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. For the divine work of human hands shall become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash my mind in Jesus, and cleanse me from my sins. And now that the gifts have been prepared, my friends, let us pray that this our sacrifice, and the very sacrifice of our lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Lord, accept the sacrifice of Christ, and praise the glory of His name, for our good and the Amen. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Grant us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Christ Jesus, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for the sinner. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father, and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name, and sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 
holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love. And when it's once for the disciples, so now for us, he opened the scriptures and breaks the bread. And for our Father, our most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, then gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when several was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and again he gave you thanks and praise. He then gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all people, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Behold, my friends, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of us, your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that had been handed on to us. And grant that, by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and into the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord God, bring us, your church, perfect faith, and perfect charity, together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop, with all other bishops, priests, religious nuns, deacons, seminarians, and the entire people you have made your own. Lord God, open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to cover those who suffer in any way. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may we, your church, stand as living witnesses to truth, freedom, peace, justice, and love, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Lord God, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ. 
Today we pray especially for Elia. We pray for all those who have died, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face. And in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. And also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. Their communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Juan Diego, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, my friends, we come together as one to pray in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, Our Father the Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. It is my peace that I give you. Look not on our sins from the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord always be with you. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, my friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. For I know, so Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished of this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And the blessings of Almighty God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us all go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.